Hello and welcome to the Photo Backup Stick video tutorial on viewing your photos. Now one of the first things you're going to want to do after you complete a backup is to view your photos. So let's show you how to do that. After backup is complete, you're going to see this screen. Go ahead and close that notification. And you can see we have two options for viewing photos. One is our own photo viewer built into the Photo Backup Stick. And one is viewing the backup folder using Windows Explorer. So let's start with a photo viewer. When we click on that, you can see here that no photos are shown yet. That's because we haven't selected the backup. Once we click on the backup, it's going to scan through all the folders on the backup and start displaying photos. Now, if we expand this, we can actually go through and look at all the different folders that were backed up and look at them individually. So you can see we've got photos here, we've got photos here, we've got photos here. So you can see the organization on the backup and view the photos individually in the folders. Um, but if you want to view all the folders at once, go ahead and click on the main um, backup folder here. Now for each device you back up, it will be named differently for the name of the device. So you might have iPhones and iPads um, and different computers if you do multiple backups. I'm going to go ahead and expand this so we can see it a little bit better. The few things that you can do with a photo viewer are deleting photos. Um, so we can go ahead and select all the photos if we want to select them all and delete them. Or we can even, this is where using the photos is, I'm sorry, the folders are, is very handy because we can go to a specific folder and say, oh, we only want to see these and delete these. And you can see that it takes a little bit of time to uh, populate a folder because we're creating those thumbnails as you're opening them up and viewing them. So don't worry if it takes a little bit of time to do that. It just is, is what it takes to be able to view these photos. So if you want to select all of them and delete them, if you want to select or clear your selection, you can. You can select an individual. You can right click over it and open the folder or the photo, copy the photo or delete the photo. So you can do limited photo management within the photo viewer um, by either opening them, copying them, and deleting them. You can also sort the photos by different criteria such as old to new, new to old, small to large, and large to small. But you'll notice that you can't really do anything like create folders and um, do other organization. So. That is our photo viewer and how to view the photos in our photo viewer. Let's open up the backup in Windows here. Now you can see here that this just opens up Windows Explorer with the backup folder. And if we have multiple backups, they'll show up here. And to view those, we have to click on the folders until we start seeing photos. And there we go, we can start seeing photos here, but you can see that I'm not actually seeing the thumbnails. So to view the photos using Windows, we come up and click on the View tab, and then we can click on things like the large icons. And you can see we have multiple folders as well as photos in here. So we can drill down and we have to still click on the view the large icons here. We can also sort by date. Now this is sorted by name here. We can sort by creation date, and that's the date that the photo was taken. Or we can sort by the date modify, but this isn't really useful because this is the date that it was copied to the stick. You can sort by size um, and even type if you have multiple image types. Windows does give us some more options. Um, we can double click to open up photos. Um, that's going to open up in the, the photo viewer here. We can multi-select and hit the delete key to delete them. We can come up here and create folders. So if we create a new folder, say April, oh, if I can spell it right, April 2020, and we can drag photos that were taken in April into that folder to organize them. So we have a few more options here with the uh, Windows uh, viewer here. So it's your choice in how you like to view the photos. One other thing I want to show you is that 
if you ever want to view your backup from the home page, we can go back to the start page, and we have both of those options here, the photo viewer and open the backup folder. So you can see the photo viewer, we'll open the photo viewer, and the open backup folder will open up the backup folder. Now the great thing about Windows is when we drill down to the folder where we saw the images, it remembers the setting for the view and we don't have to go through that process again. And that's it. That's how you view your photos after you've done a backup with the photo backup stick. Please visit our website at photobackupstick.com for more video tutorials and product support. Thank you.